So guys, so guys, this is what is going to happen at the end of Anna phase. Now, always remember, guys. See, once again, this is one single chromosome. This is one single chromosome, single chromosome, single chromosome. So at the end of the day, guys, both the sides, they are going to receive two chromosomes each. Okay. And then, guys, after this, what are we going to have? The next thing we are going to have is our telophase two. Okay. So once again, guys... Uh, Hey, just a second, guys. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Okay, there is a little bit of network fluctuation. Okay, so, okay, 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 take it. Okay, so finally, guys, we are landing up into your Telo phase two. Once again, guys, what is Telo phase two? It is nothing but a reversal of all the changes that had happened in your pro phase two. So once again, guys, what are we going to see? First thing, first thing, first thing, we are going to see that, oh, the furrow, it deepens a little bit. Okay. So yes, the furrow. Okay, sorry. Sure. Okay, so the furrow deepens. Okay, so this is what we have said. This is the first thing. And guys, whatever changes that had happened, they are going to be reversed. So now, what are you going to see? The nuclear membrane, it is going to come up. So the nuclear membrane reappears. The nucleolus reappears. Okay, see the chromosomes which were out over there, what are they going to do? Now they are going to decondense and they are going to give rise to your chromatin fiber. Okay, so this is one chromatin fiber. This is the another chromatin fiber. Okay, because we are going to say that for every chromatin fiber, you are going to have one, uh, I mean, one chromosome is going to give you one chromatin fiber. That's it, guys. This is what is going to happen in your entire telophase. And, oh, sorry, there is one more thing. That is your centrosome. So what is going to happen to your centrioles, guys? The centrioles, they are going to duplicate and they are now going to give rise to your centrosome. And the centrosome is going to appear somewhere out over here like this. That's it. This is what is going to happen in your telophase 2. But now, guys, after your telophase 2, what are we going to land up into? Your cytokinesis 2. Right. And if we land up into cytokinesis 2, guys, that is really, really simple. Because in this case, what is going to happen, guys? We are going to have the furrow, which was out over here. That is going to develop even a bit more further. And from this thing, we are going to get two new cells. Okay, so finally, this is going to land up into your cytokinesis 2. Okay, and cytokinesis 2, once again, guys, let me just quickly put this thing down. Okay, so very, very simple, guys. Once again, you are going to see in cytokinesis 2, the furrow, which is out over here, that is going to deepen even a bit more further. Right? And now, what are we going to see, guys? Slowly, slowly, that it is going to deepen, deepen, deepen even a bit more further. Like this. And finally, the narrow bridge of cytoplasm between the two cells, it is going to snap off. And from one cell, guys, we are going to get two new cells like this. 
and guys this what we are saying this is going to happen with only one cell meaning one part of the cell the other cell will also undergo the same thing so one cell will give you two two cells are going to give you four so at the end of the day guys we are going to get four new cells out over there and that's it that is nothing but your entire meiosis too guys okay there is no change everything remains exactly the same like your uh, mitosis and this is what we need to know with regards to almost your entire chapter at the end i'm just going to put down a few more things like you know what is the importance of meiosis and what are some important points and then we are done with this chapter guys okay i hope everybody has understood mitosis and meiosis really really clearly guys yes everybody yes nice nice okay guys once again when we talk about your import okay first 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 go through this guys go through this once Okay, so so uh, how does telophase one and two, cytokinesis one and two take place in plants? It is on the same lines. See what happens. You know, who is going to be responsible for your nucleolus and nuclear uh, reorganization? You are going to see. One minute, one minute. Telophase one and telophase two. It's the same way basically. Okay, and who is going to be in charge? It is going to be something on the chromosome, which is called as your secondary uh, satellite. Okay, that's uh, the second uh, the secondary uh, constriction that is called as nucleolar organizer. That is the one who is going to bring about that organization of the nucleus, organization of the nucleolus at the end. I hope that is what your question is, right? How does the nucleus come up again? How does the nucleolus come up again? cell plate formation no cell plate will see in in cytokinesis in your telophase it will just going to like you know you will see the the primitive uh, stages of it but then actual thing will start coming up into your uh, your cytokinesis okay so telophase you will see like you know little little bits bits and parts out over here and there and actual thing is going to happen in your uh, cytokinesis Like we have said, now we have already we have already done that, now. See, okay, uh, yeah. In plant cell, we have done it. One minute, one minute. Uh, see, in your telophase, see first in the telophase, it is going to be like the primitive kind of thing that will start coming up, phragmoplast. And then, actual phragmoplast will convert it into your cell wall in your cytokinesis. Okay, this is what you are asking, right? Yes, 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 yes. Cell plate formation has to happen. See, it is not that you know. Oh, if the cell plate doesn't form out over here, see, if you have to separate the cells into two. ऐसा नहीं है कि अरे इसको बाद में वो divide ही होने वाला है तो इधर cell plate नहीं बनाते हैं cell cell wall नहीं बनाते हैं इसको directly ऐसे लेके जाते हैं. No, that is not going to happen. This has to complete. It has to complete. Okay. Okay. So, so guys, let's try to put down a few important points regarding your meiosis. Okay, so what is the importance of myosis? First of all, guys, where are we going to see this thing? This is going to be seen only and only in your reproductive cells. Okay, and nowhere else. Second thing, guys, what is the most important thing? This is going to reduce. It reduces the chromosome number to half. 
and why is this important this is important because this is going to like you know later on restore your chromosome number okay and because it reduces the chromosome number to half what did we call this thing this is going to be our reductional division okay during this thing what is we going to see we are going to see that this it's going to show crossing over guys and ultimately what is this crossing over going to lead to crossing over is going to lead to your genetic recombination we have already seen how the exchange is going to take place between the sister chromatids non sister between the non sister chromatids of homologous chromosome okay so genetic recombination and this genetic recombination what is this going to land up into guys this is going to result into your variations ultimately what are variations going to give you guys this is going to help in your evolution this is ultimately going to help in evolution and then after this guys we have said one second it reduces the chromosome number in your gametes so we have said this produces gametes and gametes have half the number of chromosomes okay they have half the number of chromosomes but then at the time of fertilization what is going to happen they are going to re, re you know they are going to restore your chromosome number so after fertilization just a second and after fertilization guys once again they restore the chromosome number okay so once again if you want i will just show you see we had sperms if we look at the sperms guys we are going to have 23 chromosome we have the ovum ovum is also going to have 23 chromosome because of your meiosis but when both of them they are going to unite together guys we are going to have 46 chromosomes in your zygote and zygote is what guys zygote is nothing but it is the first living cell of the body okay and that is why we always say like you know one set of chromosome you are going to get it from the father one set you are going to get it from the mother okay but now let's try to move ahead and let's try to see some important points okay some important phases that we need to know okay So guys, when we talk about your meiosis, okay, we uh, will talk about like you know one 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 stages, like you know what is the important thing out over there and all. So first thing we said, we are going to have leptotene. Okay, in leptotene, what are you going to see? How are the chromosomes going to be? The chromosomes they are going to appear thin thread-like structures. Okay, so thin thread-like. Okay, second. we said zygote what is the most important thing about zygote guys here we are going to see synapses okay pachytin here we are going to see your crossing over okay so crossing over and you will also see chiasma formation okay fine then after that we have diplotin so you're going to see the forces of a repulsion begin okay so this is going to be more dominant forces of repulsion okay diakinases you are going to see terminalization okay then after that most of the things they are going to be really really simple so metaphase one there is nothing to really talk about but then we have anaphase 1 this is important guys in your anaphase 1 what is going to happen we are going to see that the chiasma splits chiasma splits for the first time okay so this and i will say that this is the step which is responsible for actual reduction in the number of chromosomes okay actual reduction and finally guys after your anaphase 1 
we need to talk about once again ana phase 2 rest everything is like very very simple there is no change as such but in ana phase 2 for the first time your centromere splits okay so keep these important points in your mind guys and then your meiosis and your mitosis should be like good enough okay everybody all right with this thing guys sure no problem understood this part okay next time when we come back guys what we will do okay so it is just about time right now so next time what we will do is guys i have a few questions from the textbook and all now this year's textbook doesn't have that many questions and all so i have another textbook from where we'll try to solve the question and answers and we will try to understand if you have understood this chapter properly okay guys fine any doubts anything you wish to ask anyone anyone okay and what i want at the same time guys i want you to read from the textbook as well okay there is one small piece of information which i will give you you know which is generally asked in your neat exams okay so we have something that is called as mitotic poison okay something which is going to stop mitosis okay so that is called as mitotic poison okay and who is that we are going to have colchicin Okay, now this colchicin it is actually obtained from a plant, colchicum. Okay, this is obtained from colchicum plant. Okay, colchicin. Now, what is this going to do, guys? This is going to prevent. This prevent spindle fiber formation only. okay it prevents spindle formation and because it is going to prevent spindle formation guys what happens you know the same cell has more number of your sets of chromosome so we say this ultimately leads to polyploidy yeah. it ultimately it is going to lead to polyploidy meaning more number of sets of chromosomes so this way so this is one very important thing other mitotic poisons you are going to see that you know we have your potassium cyanide that is another one okay and if when we talk about your neat part guys and that time we will see even more and more and more number of your mitotic poisons okay but for the time being guys we will stop over here for the day next class when we come back we will start doing a few question and answer sessions okay my suggestion to you guys and my request kindly go through the textbook okay kindly go through the textbook read through it if you don't understand anything then do let me know okay chala so once again we'll stop over here for the day and i will see you in the next class till then take care bye bye everybody bye bye bye